Well, come on in, everybody. Pull up a chair. Tell me what's going on. Well, come on in. Come on in. Pull up a chair and tell me how you been. We're fixing to sing, and I'm doing the lead. So if you would do the harmony, but if you can't sing in tune, well, that's okay because I can't hear you. Just don't forget your decaf on sweet tea. Then Andy Fritz, sit up straight and sing with me. Come on in. Hey, Cassie official Andrew Dillon, come on in. Pull up a chair, tell me how you been. Now don't forget that on sweet tea. Then sit up straight and sing along with me. Yeah, sit up straight and sing along with me. Hey, y'all, come on in here. It is already hump day. It's Wednesday, October 26th, and it is, what time is it? 12.49 p.m. What are you having for lunch? Because I'm about ready to go get some lunch as soon as I'm done with y'all. But I wanted to come in here and sing a little and let you know that this coming Friday, Becky Isaacs, her new and first only ever CD, a solo. She didn't let her mom, her sister, her brother, no, but none of them, none of the Isaacs got to sing on this project. Of course, I think a bunch of people did. I interviewed her and I'm going to play the interview Friday when the CD is released everywhere. I will personally already be in Kansas at Linda, Linda Randall, Missouri. Anyway, somewhere up there with uh, Linda Randall. She's doing a women's conference, and I'll be there this weekend. Hello, Carol and Amy and Roberta and Cheryl Cole from Florida and Marla Mays. She, what's she thinking about lunch? She's got a, She's scratching her chin and that little emoji. Please keep me in your thoughts and prayers. This is from Marsha Lane. I have a severe bout with an upper respiratory oh it went by too fast pray for her her respiratory my husband is the tea drinker i'm the dr pepper drinker ruth myers says on the comments hello over there in minnesota francis lord let me see if i can pull some of these comments up where's my mouse i need to figure out a way to... good morning mark from lynn chobani black eyed peas cabbage corn beef and hot corn bread that was oh, that sounded like a good lunch uh, hello from Columbus, Ohio. Jerry Forney says, hey. Melody Miller says, hey. Linda Jones says, hey, 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 everybody. There's 761 of you singing along with me right now, and I'm so glad you are. Now, we are in the H's, so we're going to start with a song I actually was rehearsing before we went live. All right, everybody, sit up straight and sing with me. Mm -hmm. Time is filled with swift transition None on earth unmoved can stand Build your hopes on things eternal Hold to God's unchanging hand Everybody's in hold to his hand, to God's unchanging hand. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal. God's unchanging hand Trust in Him Who will not leave you Whatsoever years may bring When your earthly friends Forsake 
God. Oh, Bella's barking. Tell the electricians, take care of yourselves, I'm live. Oh, poor Bella. She just want me to know someone was at the door. I don't care. Just because someone's at the door doesn't mean I have to answer it. Dogs don't understand that. Just because the phone's ringing doesn't mean I have to answer it. If I don't recognize the number, I do not answer it. I don't do it. Hey, let's sing Don't Ask. Well, I don't know Don't Ask, but I do know Go Ask. But we're not going to sing that today. Uh, please show Bella. Bella doesn't like to be. She's out there guarding the yard, and she's nowhere near here now. She's off barking at a cat or something. Okay, let's sing. Well, that was a fun one, wasn't it? God's unchanging hand, and then we move on over to I'd rather be in a... Ooh, one of the most requested. House of gold. Come on, sit up straight. Let's sing. I'd rather be in a deep dark grave and know that my poor soul was saved than to live in this world in a house of gold and deny my God and lose my soul saying some people steal, they cheat and lie for wealth and what it'll buy. But don't they know on the judgment day, dear God, gold and silver is gonna melt away. And I'd rather be in a deep dark grave And know that my poor soul was saved Than to live in this world in a house of gold And deny my God and lose my soul what good is gold and silver too if your heart's not pure and true? Oh, sinner, hear me when I say, let's fall down upon our knees. Cause I'd rather be in a deep dark grave And know that my poor soul was saved Than to live in this world in a house of gold And deny my God and lose my soul deny my God ain't gonna lose my soul ain't gonna lose my soul yeah 
Now, did Kevin play that guitar or what? All right, everybody get a swig of water or uh, decaf iced tea. This is just water today, but the song says decaf iced tea, so I sing it that way. You know, the song I open with, come on in, come on in. That's not the way it goes. That's why I wrote it. You know, when I write lyrics, I write it to a melody in my head. Then I scratch that and let someone else write the melody that knows what they're doing. But I wrote that one. Come on in, come on in. Pull up a chair and tell me where you've been. You know, that's kind of like the, kind of a big bat, big band kind of a thing. Are you touring with Bill Gaither? Tammy Hawkins wants to know. Yes, I'm going on the Christmas tour with Bill Gaither. In fact, if you want to know my schedule, all you got to do is go to marklowry.com and then put the little slash tour, and it tells you everywhere. I'm going to be in Colorado coming up pretty soon, and uh, I have to go look at that myself to see where I'm headed, but... Also, have you got your pill box yet? Everybody, now you need to go to marklowry.com slash store and get your pill box because if you're like me and you only take your pills in the morning, you got three weeks of mornings in one box. Now, if you take pills three times a day, this will last you one week. So this is what we call the pill suitcase. That's what one of you called it, and I thought that was funny. And until the end of this month, Mary, did you know short sleeve t shirts are just 10 bucks at marklowry.com? And what else we got over there? Oh, we got a make it real a long sleeve shirts over there. Y'all y'all seem to love that song. And then, of course, I always say, sit up straight and sing. How many of you actually do it when I say, okay, now sit up straight and sing? Because you know, <clears throat> you do sing better when you sit up straight. Plus, then the world can see all this that shows your age. Every time I look in the, the camera, it's like I have a, one face up here and then one face from here to here. Anyway, sit up straight and sing. Those are out there. And we have hoodies. Look at this. You can get you a hoodie at marklowry.com. You don't even have to go back to Walmart anymore or Amazon.com. Bella, is that you scratching? Let me see if that's her. Hold on. Oh, by the way, this photo was taken by Andrew Greer. He sent it in, wanted his photo to make the green screen. If you would like for your photo to be up here, send your vacation photo with no people in it, and it needs to be horizontal, not like this, like all the kids take pictures today. It needs to be like this, so it'll go from there to there. Hold on. Bella, where are you? Well, 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 it's Wednesday afternoon. How do, 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 do. That's happy trails. Oh, how great thou art is in the H's. You know, we're going through the hymnal. Hello, Lynn Wallace, Jody Arnold Reynolds, and Maggie Rhodes, and all of you. Come on in. Keep coming on in, y'all. Sing. Oh, Lord. When I in awesome wonder Consider all The worlds thy hands have made I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder Thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art 
how great thou art when Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God how sings my soul, my Savior God to be. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God. Thou art Big breath, y'all How good thou art Bigger it is How great thou art How great thou I do think vibrato helps you sometimes, but it kind of can lead you astray too. You know, uh, when I get out of breath, when I don't, when I hadn't set up straight enough, and I'm not, uh, didn't grab a big enough breath, and I'm already to the end of the phrase, the vibrato will kick in like it's like its last little whimper of death before the last little puff of air finally leaves the lungs. So remember to breathe deep. Sit up straight, breathe deep. <clears throat> oh, 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 another pretty one. This is where mama and daddy are now. Sing with me, y'all. Mm. We read of a place that's called heaven. It's made for the pure and the free these truths in God's word he has given how beautiful heaven must be how And free 
fair haven of rest for the weary. How beautiful heaven must be. been there yet but it can't be much prettier than this you know when you look around the world it's some pretty pretty places around the world that right there Andrew Greer took on his walk through the woods the other day sent me two gorgeous pictures so heaven must really sparkle you know uh, uh, reverb Heaven must really sparkle. Streets of gold, gates of pearl, walls of jasper. I mean, wow, wouldn't want to miss that. But you know what? It's going to all pale. All I don't care how gold those streets are. Just think about that. Silver and gold. In heaven, gold is pavement. It's worthless. I want it to be worth something, but it ain't worth much if they're paving their streets with it. And... I just think it's all going to pale. Can you imagine? You you're there. You walk, you walk through the, you walk to the light, or you walk through the gates. Whatever's waiting on us, and you and you see flowers. You smell things you've never smelt before. You're seeing colors you've never seen before, and then your eyes lock with the one you've never seen before, the Lord Jesus, and then He looked you looks at you and says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. He may not speak King James, but, but he might. Who knows? A lot of people think he does. Well done, you good and faithful servant. You were the best you you could be. And, and then you let me into your heart. Oh, my goodness. What a wonderful, wonderful thing that could be, that will be. Could be. It will be. But it's hope, you know. We, we've seen nothing. I haven't. Now, I know people who tell me, I know them real well, tell me they've been to heaven. You know, and they might have been. Paul says he went. The apostle Paul went up there, came back, and he's speechless. So why go till it's time? I don't want to go till I can stay. Why would you get there, look around, oh, you got to go back? Uh-uh. No, I, I wouldn't want to go back. Unless he says, you know, you got to. And then I say, okay. But um, I don't know if God is dead. If God is dead. Oh, yeah, I remember it. Who's this living in my heart? If my heart had windows, I'd leave them open so the whole world could see. I think that's how it goes, isn't it? I don't remember it, but it's a good song. Uh, da, 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 uh. Oh, well, can't remember it. All right, let's see what else I got prepared, which I don't think I have much. Fair hey, I oh, I another slow one, but you know, if you don't like it, don't watch. <laughs> I'm getting a little sassy in my old age. I am thine, oh Lord, I have heard. I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Sing, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me Lord, to thy precious bleeding side, 
Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine. Draw me Back in your church, you probably sang it like we did. We, I am thine, O Lord, I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Sing it, y'all. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to three, to thy blessed precious bleeding side i mean was there not theology in those songs a little gory i mean it is little chino he said you know it is a little gory when he first learned how bloody this religion is but it is the blood of the lord jesus that cleanses us from all of our iniquity it was his death burial and resurrection that set us free so it is precious blood it really is. Somehow, because it was his blood, and it was cleansing blood, and it was saving blood, it has become beautiful. Sorry, it is. Uh, it's like the cross. You know, back in the day of Christ, you wouldn't wear a cross around your neck. It's a piece of jewelry. That'd be like hanging an electric chair around your neck. Can you imagine going around town with a little gold electric chair? I guess if the Lord had been killed in an electric chair, we would be wearing little bitty electric chairs. But he didn't. He died on the cross because he died there. Over time, it's become a beautiful thing. That's why we cherish it, right? Let's sing that since I'm talking about it. It's not in our, not in our, you know, and I'm not even going to put up the words. Oh, don't you love that old cross? All right, sit up straight. Let's sing this. On a hill far away. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering And to the 
the old rugged cross I will ever be true It's shame and reproach I'll gladly bear And then he'll call me someday To my home far away Where his glory forever I'll share So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down And I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a Oh, man, that song's hard to beat, ain't it? Ain't it? I'm acting more Southern than I really am, evidently. I've noticed uh, my friend Dina, she talks a lot more country when she's around country folk. When she was around Brenda Gant the other day, I didn't hardly recognize her. She was talking so country. But when she gets around, you know, city folk, she can clean it up, make, make you think she's educated and dignified. She can. I've seen her do it. And exchange it someday for a crown. Man, don't you love that key? I love that key, too. Not only do I love that song, I love that key. Because if, if I did, uh-oh, who's calling me? Ew. Hold on. Let's see who this is. Hello, I'm live. Oh, hey, right. Chin, totally Chin, is, Who is this? That's Chino. Well, say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. This is Ochina. Thank you for praying for us. Oh, thank you for praying for us. You got anything else to tell them? How's school? It's good. I'm uh, finally back after COVID, so it's going good. And learning some new stuff, so that's good. Well, that's good. That's why you go to school, to learn some new stuff. Yeah. Isn't it? So, yep. Well, tell, well, right. you, well call me later. I love you guys, and uh, okay. be, be safe. Bye. Okay, bye. And exchange it someday for a crown. Country folk are educated too, Donna Latham. I know that, Donna. You know, I'm so prejudiced towards country folk. I'd take some of the smartest, wisest, most brilliant people I know did not have a long education. J.D. Sumner is one of them. He, I think he might have had an eighth grade education, but he was one of the wisest people I, I've ever met. And education is a good thing, but trust me, there's a lot of educated people slinging tacos. Nothing wrong with slinging tacos. I love a taco. And I thank God for those who sling them. Lord, I'm going to get myself in a mess if I don't hang up and start singing. Um, how beautiful we've done that. I'm done. We Oh, we haven't done this one. Hold on. Let me get back over to the song page. Here we go. Draw me near. We did that one. Oh, my. I feel like traveling on. Do you feel like traveling on sometimes? Just don't do it till the Lord calls you, though. We don't need to get there early. Our mansion won't be ready. It's a mess. My heavenly home. Is bright and fair I feel like traveling on No pain nor death Can enter there I feel like traveling on Yes, I feel like traveling on 
I feel like traveling on My heavenly home is bright and fair I feel like traveling on In Glittering towers, the sun outshines I feel like traveling on that heavenly mansion shall be mine I feel like traveling on Yes, I feel like traveling on I feel like traveling on My heavenly home is bright and fair I feel like traveling on Yes, I feel like traveling on I feel like traveling on. Yeah, play it, Kevin Williams. Y'all, I gotta, I gotta get Kevin to make us some new songs. We go through the hymnal about every two weeks now, cause I sing so many when we do go live, cause I enjoy it. You know, I really do look forward to this. Ask my friends, they'll tell you. And you know what I noticed too about Brenda Gant's friends when she was visiting? They were as involved in her Facebook pages, page as she is. I mean, they would hold the camera for her and support her because she really does have a big thing going. And this is a pretty big deal here too. There's 856 of you watching on this Wednesday afternoon and you evidently you drop everything when you hear the notification go off because you join me and you sing with me because you tell me you do. And just think of all those songs. Once a day, the Lord gets a, gets a choir from us. Some on pitch, some off pitch. It all sounds the same to him because he said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That means to him. I mean, just be joyful and you know, it's hard to sing these songs. People say, why are you always so joyful? Well, I'm not. I'm not always on here. Sometimes I'm in my lazy boy bitter. I'm not really. But, um, but I tell you what, you can't hardly sing these old songs without getting a smile on your face. Well, I feel like traveling on. I feel. And you know what's good about singing in a straight tone is, or learning or trying to sing in a straight tone? is to try to get your pitch, and I'm, and I'm still trying after all these years, to get my pitch dead center of the pitch. It is almost magical. Have you heard the Martins do it? When they lock on the three of their voices and almost things start to rub a little because it's so deadlocked? Well, I think it's good to sing, uh, to try to sing some of those fast songs, especially I got a lot of S's going today. Uh, with a straight tone to make sure you're really on pitch because you, if you have no pitch, like Anita Kramer says, she has none, uh, well, then don't worry about it. And don't worry about everybody else who does have relative pitch and can hear that you're singing off pitch. Sing louder. Make them miserable because the Lord loves it. Evidently, when it comes to you, he's tone deaf. If you have no pitch, uh oh, I gotta block this person. Uh oh, hold on. If you, when it comes to pitch, yes, ban them, please. When it comes to pitch, uh, the Lord's tone deaf when it comes to you. Think about that. If you can't sing on pitch, sing louder. He loves it. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Doesn't have to be on pitch. Now, when if you're gonna stand near me. I'm not as merciful as the Lord. You might get an elbow if uh, you're too far off. Because, I mean, for those of us who have relative pitch, and I mean relative, not perfect. There's a difference. When you hear somebody off pitch, it's like a chalkboard scratching that chalk. But you know what? You learn to smile through it. You know? You just keep singing, and hopefully they'll... They'll come on up to pitch eventually. All right, now that I've run down that rabbit trail and I've run y'all down to 868 people watching on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and all that other, 
Um, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe so you'll be notified. And then you got to, when you subscribe, you got to click on that bell and make sure you get all notifications so you'll be notified when I go live. And if you miss the notification, all you got to do is watch the replay over on Facebook. Please share, share, share. Give me a thumbs up every chance you can because that lets the algorithms know that anybody else over here who might like these old hymns, they need to know about us over here, right? All right, what's next in the sing a thong? That's a good name for it. The sing a thong. They, I feel like traveling on. Oh, that's it. Uh oh, we're out of songs, y'all. What's next? I. Oh, well, you know what? I'll add two more that look really good. And they're in the eyes. We're already up to the eyes in the hymnal. I have decided, can you say the rest? To follow Jesus. Isn't that a good one? Where is it? I have, well, <laughs> dear Lord, there it is. Here it is. There it is. No turning back. And then the next one after this is going to be, I know who holds tomorrow. Hey, if y'all are worried about the future, have you noticed that I never talk about the news? Have you noticed I never talk about politics? You know why? I don't care. I don't think they know any more than I do. And it ain't my kingdom. I know who holds the future. I've got his home number. He's a prayer away. I don't even have to use AT&T to reach him. I know. In fact, let's sing that one first. I know who holds tomorrow, and he holds my hand. Aren't you glad? All right, sit up straight and sing with me. Come on. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day I don't borrow from its sunshine for its skies may turn to gray and I don't worry for the future for I know what Jesus said And today I'll walk beside him You know why? For he knows what lies ahead Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand but I know who holds tomorrow and I know who holds my hand and I don't know about tomorrow. It may bring me poverty, but the one who feeds the sparrow is the one who stands by me and the path that is my portion it may be through the flame or flood but his presence goes before me and I'm covered with his blood Many things about tomorrow 
I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. Yes, I know. That sounded like I was in a different key when I quit singing. Oh man, you know how sometimes when a, when you're when you're listening and you and then you quit listening and then the guitar the last few strings can feel like they're in a different key when they fade away. At least it doesn't. Maybe that's something to do with old age. <laughs> I know y'all mad at me for keep calling myself old, but I want to be in your group. Some of you are in your 90s, and you're appalled when you hear myself call myself old because I'm 64. Well, I look a lot older than that, so let me in your group. Quit looking down on me as a pre-senior. Would that be the word? Wouldn't be prepubescent because that was preteen, pre, pre geriatric, maybe. What's the word, y'all? You know when you're almost old enough for uh, social security or or whatever the that ones that come and where they pay your for your drugs and all. Medicare. You're almost old enough, but not quite. I'm 64. I'm not quite in your group, but I'll be there on June 24th. June 24th, that's my birthday, 1958. And I know who holds my hand. What do y'all want to sing? Old as dirt, Dreama says I am. A young whippersnapper, Barbara Robinson calls me. I appreciate you, Mark. Thank you. You were in G in four flat. Woo. Maria Hunt knows had, must have perfect pitch. I was... Uh, to inform Mark, prayer request to know if you need, excuse me, I had to belch. Tell us seniors from age, okay, we are seniors, someone said, from age 50 up. Oh, we're pre-geriatric. Okay, that's good. Gra Gra Garcia McDermott said we're pre-geriatric. Yeah, that'll work. Just as you are welcome. Thank you, Phyllis. You're a golden saint. That sounds like a dog. I'm a golden saint retriever. That's sweet, though. Thanks for singing this song. I needed it. Oh, isn't it great to, to know who holds a future? You don't have to worry about it. They're still working in there, so I'm not going in there for a while. Why not? I'm, I'm all, See, what I like about being this age, you don't have to. I already said this earlier in the program. How long I've been going? 48 minutes, so I'm probably going to repeat myself. And it's just getting started. You should have heard Daddy before he took his final breath. He was repeating. He had about five stories that he just had them on replay. And I'm going to be there soon, if not already there. But... I love it. I love getting old with you. I love that I can come in here and sing these old hymns. Wet my whistle. I keep singing. What else do I want to tell? Oh, listen, there are a few rooms left at Mark Lowry's Thanksgiving event. Or what's it called? Mark Lowry's Thanksgiving break. I heard there are 30 rooms left. And so if you want to be a part of that, come join us Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday before Thanksgiving, November 21st through the 23rd. And you just go to imcconcerts.com if you'd like to join us. Briley Altman is coming. My brother and his wife are coming. I'm going to make him uh, play the guitar for me and sing. We'll be singing these old hymns like we do up right here on Just Whenever. And we'll get Briley to play some of them. And uh, all these other artists, Jeff and Sherry Easter, the Booth Brothers, The Sound, and Endless Highway. Y'all, we may start, start a tradition, a pre-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, for those who might not like 
who you have to have Thanksgiving with. You can come and be part of your chosen family on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for a pre-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving that could probably prepare your heart for the Thanksgiving that's coming on Thursday when you have to be with the family that you did not choose, but God chose them for you. And we'll try to prepare your heart so you'll be a little more grateful because you know every family tree has a squirrel in it. You know every family. Don't be, don't feel bad because you have a squirrel in your family tree. And if you can't think of anybody, you're probably it. So just relax. You know, take your medicines. Um, but even if you are it, God loves you. God likes you. He's crazy about you. Even if nobody else is, he's crazy about you. Okay, what do y'all want to close with today? Anything? Happy birthday, Brenda. I guess Brenda's happy. I don't know what Brenda that is, but I am the squirrel. Greg, are you the squirrel in your family tree? Greg Fanning says, I, well, it's good to own it. If you are the squirrel in your family tree, oh, that's a good one. We'll, we'll close today with Luella Lundy's request. We'll go over to the song page. I'll come over and find that Dottie Rambo classic. Did I sing the other one? Oh, I didn't sing that one yet. Okay, we'll sing I have we'll sing If That Isn't Love and then we'll close with I have decided to follow Jesus. If that let's see if I'm in the right key. He led, he is that. Let's see if I am. Oh, wait, hold on. I can't tell if I was in the right key or not. Can y'all? I guess I was. He left the splendor of heaven. Sing, y'all. Come on. Knowing his destiny. Was the lonely hill of Golgotha there to lay down his life for me? If that isn't love, the ocean is dry. There are no stars in the sky And the sparrow can't fly If that isn't love Then heaven's a myth There's no feeling like this If that isn't love Oh, listen to this verse Even in death He remembered The thief hanging by his side Jesus spoke with love and compassion And then he took him to paradise If that isn't love The ocean is dry there are no stars in the sky And the sparrow can't fly If that isn't love Are you helping me sing? Then heaven's a myth There's no feeling like this if that isn't love, the ocean is dry. 
There are no stars in the sky The sparrow can't fly If that isn't love Oh, uh, oh it went flat again Well, y'all, hopefully, hey, Israel, hopefully my mind will leave the same time my voice does because I don't care what, you know, I, I, I don't, I want to be at the place where I don't care what you think. I do care what you think right now because I have my mind, but it will be cool one day should the Lord tarry and allow me to follow my mother because my mother, whatever she got, I got. You might, you may, you've heard me tell you that, right? You know, she had a thyroid tumor. I got a thyroid tumor. She had a parotid gland tumor. I got a parotid gland tumor. She had a hysterectomy. I'm still waiting on that. Put a bang. Uh, where I need a, one of those boom, boom, one of those uh, sound effects. But if I, you know, one day forget everybody, I hope it's like Mama forgot everybody. She she did ask me one time. She said, "Are you my son?" Remember I told you that too. She said, she looked at me. She's in the throes of dementia. It was sundowners. She looked at me and said, are you my son? I said, well, unless you messed around, I am. She said, I wouldn't do that. I was a Christian. Of course, she could have messed around. I'd still been her son because I didn't do good in biology, you know. But uh, boy, she could sing right up to the end. Mama could sing and she knew every word, to every alto hymn part. She knew it all. We would sit for hours and I'd pull out my phone. If we never meet again, this side of heaven. And she go oh, jump on that out there. If we never meet again. I mean, she was on it. Mama was always on it. She was so good. She was the Patsy Klein of my world, anyway. Her pastor called her the Loretta Lynn of gospel music. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I won't be having a hysterectomy, Emma Wan jury. Uh, no hysterectomy for me. That's right, New York, May. That was a joke. Please. Thank you. I, I know you know it was. Well, y'all, let's sing. Uh, what did I have? I have decided to follow Jesus. I love this one. <laughs> Oh, we sang this in Sunday school so many times. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided I'll follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back where are we gonna go no turning back though none go with me still I will follow though none go with Still I will follow Though none go with me Still I will follow No turning back No turning back My cross I'll carry Till I see Jesus My cross I'll carry Till I see Jesus My cross I'll carry Till I see Jesus No turning back 
no turning back Lord, I won't turn back No turning back Cause like I said Where are we gonna go? Who else has the words of life? Remember, after Jesus said, you got to eat my body and drink my blood, some of the people who followed him said, whoo, hold up, we're going we're to go home now. And they left because they didn't understand what he was talking about. And they left. They said, we're not cannibals, we're going to go home. And the disciples explained it. I mean, the disciples, the Lord Jesus explained it to them, to the disciples once they got alone, that it, what he meant. But where are we going to go? Because Jesus, see, when the, some of the disciples left, uh, left him, well, not disciples, followers. They were followers, you know. When they heard that he said, unless you eat my body and drink my blood, you have no part of me. They said, we're going home. And then Jesus looked at the disciples and said, will you leave me too? And one of them, I don't remember which one, and I don't remember where this is, but it's in the Bible somewhere, spoke up and said, where are we going to go? Oh, boy, do I relate to that question. Where are we going to go? We can go see Buddha? We can go check out Muhammad. Did Joseph Smith have any answers we don't know about? No, Jesus, you alone have the words to eternal life. You, Lord Jesus, all of our eggs are in one basket. And that's that you rose from the dead. And if Christ be not risen from the dead, we above all people are most foolish. That's what the apostle Paul said in the Bible somewhere. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have an egg here, an egg there, egg over there, egg over yonder. All my eggs are in one basket, and that is that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, lived a perfect life, never sassed his mama, except that one time when it kind of looked like it. When he said, woman, what am I going to do with you? That must, that's close. I know if I ever looked at my mom and said, woman, what am I going to do with you? She'd knock my teeth out because she knew I wasn't virgin born. But see, Jesus and Mary, I mean, if anybody knew Jesus was virgin born, Mary knew it. And so I'm sure she'd take a little sharp criticism from that son, you know, because she birthed God. I mean, you know, she gave birth to Jehovah, wrapped in flesh. She taught God how to walk. <laughs> She taught God how to talk. Hebrew and all those other languages they spoke back then. He came in the form of a vulnerable little baby who could offer the world nothing but maybe a cry and a smile every now and then. And then he grew in favor with God and man, the Bible says. And he also, I think that's when he discovered who he was. Because you know those bedtime stories were epic. Don't you know when little Mary grabbed, well, she's little too. She's just about 13 when she birthed him. And, and don't you know she'd crawl, hold him in her arms and tell him bedtime stories of wise men and angels? Don't you think? And then when he studied the Torah and read the prophecies for the Messiah, his picture was hanging by it. He fulfilled every prophecy. So he grew in the knowledge. My dad now, he believes who he was the second he was conceived. I've told you all that before in one of my videos. And I told daddy, when you do your concert, you can say what you want. This is my concert, and I don't think Jesus knew who he was when he was a baby or else he was faking those diaper changes. Don't you think? I think he, just like you and me, had to get his knowledge from the Bible, the Torah, and his Father in heaven. Remember? He wouldn't budge till the Father said, move. Remember, they were at that wedding at Cana and Mary's pushing him, go, they run out of wine. And he said, that's where he says, woman, what am I going to do with you? And then she said, whatever he tells you to do. And evidently the father said, okay, go. You can turn water into wine today. That's what a way to get started. 
just to keep the party going. That's what I love about Jesus. He loved a good time too. He loved a party with his friends. You know he did. You know how I know he did? Because kids liked him. You don't see kids running after that sourpuss deacon sitting on the back pew of your church, do you? Oh, the children loved him. They would crawl up on his lap and hang on him, and he would laugh. You know he did. You, he would laugh. Because in one section, the bodyguards walked up, which is what I called. Carol Church disagrees with me on that one. She said, I don't know which one you, you disagree with me on, but I'm right, Carol. Just, just know that I'm right. Relax. Um, <laughs> that's what I used to tell Mama. I said, Mama, when you get to heaven, the first thing the Lord's going to tell you is Mark was right. Well, that threw me off. I don't know what I was talking about. Anyway, it must have been good. Uh, oh, about the uh, son, the Torah. What? What? Well, someone's singing over here. Y'all, you're the Torah isn't bad. What? Who said the Torah? The Torah is the Bible, the first five chapters, isn't it? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. That was the Bible of their day. They didn't have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, y'all. Jesus only had the Old Testament, the Torah, the, the Jewish Bible. That's what he had. Anyway. Oh, bodyguards, you're right. Thank you, Kathy Kiever. I, when I was a kid and saw that movie, The Greatest Story Ever Told, I saw the disciples trying to, you know, rush off the little children that were playing on Jesus and on his neck and hanging. You know, they had this scene where he looked really friendly. The kids and you know I'm sure Judas was Judas was leading the pack of those de deacons or bodyguards like go get him away from the kid get him away from them they're bothering him and that's when Jesus said that incredible line he said no 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 suffer the children to come unto me and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of heaven that's when I thought whoa yeah in heaven we're all gonna be like children maybe not childish but childlike and our wonder and all that kind of stuff we ought to be like that now we don't have to wait till we get to heaven to live in beulah land we can create our own not create our own we can enter into the peace that comes from knowing jesus and then beulah land happens all around you oh well okay here we go i'm gonna close with something because i've been rambling and talking and but you know, it does say we're saved by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, doesn't it? What does that mean? Can you help me figure that out? We are saved. Somewhere in that Bible, it says we are saved by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. See, when I get on here and start rambling, I'm hearing some of this stuff for the first time myself because I am a talk thinker. And then I do repeat some things, but I'm exploring. I'm always trying to find that other angle, that other way of exposing that cross and letting people see how wonderful and beautiful and caring and kind. And that if you have a misconception about God, go watch The Chosen. It's free. Go to your app on your phone, download the Chosen app, and watch seasons one and two. Season three is coming out real soon, like in November. Real close. You can already see the, uh, the trailers. Oh, in that one trailer. And I texted Dallas Jenkins and said, you made me cry when Jesus wouldn't. When I'm, go watch the trailer, y'all, where one, the, the guy says, we're going to have to hold you accountable to the law of Moses or something like that. And Jesus looks at him and says, I am the law of Moses. Whoa! I about spoke in tongues and I'm Baptist. I believe that Jesus is the law of Moses. He fulfilled every law. He dotted every I, crossed every T, because I couldn't, I couldn't keep the law. That's why Jesus had to come and die. Because somebody had to. And he did. He kept the law. So the law's taken care of, y'all. Don't live under the law. Oh, please. Why are you living under bondage? Galatians 5.1, I did remember that verse, says, It was for freedom that Christ has set you free. Live in your freedom. Exercise your freedom. Just don't go crazy with it. That's what Paul said. 
you know, I have the freedom to holler but not fire in a crowded building. That wouldn't be reasonable, would it? And it shouldn't be allowed either. So I don't know, ran down another rabbit trail. Okay, well, let's close with, I'll just pick one. Oh, well, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, my goodness. I'll just sing this one. Cheryl Rogers. The chimes of time ring out The news another day is through Someone slipped and fell Was that someone you You may have longed For added strength your courage to renew do not be disheartened for I bring news to you it is no secret what God can do what is done for others he'll do for you with his arms wide open he'll pardon you it is no secret what God can do. There is no night, for in His light you'll never walk alone. Always feel at home wherever you There is no power can conquer you while God is on your side. Take him at his promise. Don't run away and hide. It is no secret what God can do what he's done for others he'll do for you with arms wide open he'll pardon you it is no secret what God can do play it Cheryl Sing with me, with arms wide open. With arms wide open, He'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. It's no secret what God can do.
Thank y'all for tuning in. See you when I see you.